working with a student on tempo rubato with a Chopin A minor waltz, and I, I think of it as an ebb and flow of phrases in time, interpretation, sculpting. Um, it's called borrowed time, but I kind of don't think of it that way. Um, and when I start this waltz, I do it fairly straightforward, but I might do a little bit of part of my rubato approach is sometimes to delay the third beats of these three beat measures with the chords as after beats, like this. And I'm going to maybe go a little bit slower just to show some of the rubato I'm doing. So in the beginning, I'm pretty straightforward. starting on the fifth degree, it's going up. Everything's getting higher. level of this. Mm -hmm. There's always another level. I know. Faster. Slightly faster and we can take little bits of liberties here. Now, not with that beginning line because that you don't want a, a scale going up. That's we, we can't we can't play around. Mm -hmm. But we can play with other places and um, I think I'm going to ask you to play it again and then I might say to you let's try this or that. Now first I'd like you to do it a little quicker. How about like this? <laughs> That doesn't mean lose control. I know. I mean, it just move it a little forward.
scale interpretively. Now when we get to this, we, go, we push it slightly forward. We push it slightly forward in time. It, I think you naturally feel that. In fact, you were doing it a little bit before. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. You were pushing that forward, and actually you want to push that a little forward. Because it's more improvised here. It's sort of like he's letting the cat out of the bag, is he not? Yeah. Because it's a new section. It's completely different. Now, I feel like going to... Just let it go there a little bit. Just like do what you feel like doing. That's a little freer than being so constrained in the beginning. It's kind of boxed in more. But now you let it go. Let's try that. Just let it go. Play with it a little again. the second one. Oh. Back to tempo. I would, I would kind of relax it. If you relax it, it means it's a little broader. Because you don't want that beautiful sequence down to be lost by just like sort of it going forward, forward, forward. Right, right, right. So is that in... Um, that would be measure... 35, 36? Yes, it would be 36. The measure before is dominant and it's a sequence, so it is resolving what you want to do, but you also want to stretch it a little bit. Stretch it out a little bit. And then that allows you to get back into. And look what I did here, what I do there. I stretched out the cadence. Okay. Yeah, because it wouldn't make sense. So stuff. stretch it in 30 yeah, whenever seconds. You have cadences, whenever you have cadences, yeah. you, can't, you can't forward those. You have to milk those. Because okay. remember when I did this, I went. Too. Actually, what I did was I broadened my resting point in measure um, 39. I broadened it. See, I'm back. See, because I don't want to, you know, get bogged down anymore. I'm moving the piece along, but I'm still doing bending with the breeze when musically it makes sense. So that's called rubato, tempo rubato, mm -hmm. where you bend with the breeze, and that's what we're doing now. Now the climax is still going to be where we decided it is, which is in the A major key, right? That whole spill of notes. Mm -hmm. But I want to hear you do something with the with that sequence measure, you know, which we decided was measure 36, mm -hmm. and then go back into tempo, and then broaden at the cadence. So you got to go in and out a little bit. So let's go to the climax right on it, which is this. Answer. Just answer it.
Yeah, I would just go. I got there. Uh, now. This really makes Chopin, you know, rubato, which was the most important thing about his music was the tempo rubato. But we don't do that till we know it so well, which you do now. Mm -hmm. Stretch out oh, yeah. the C sharp D E. Yeah. Yep. yeah, well, you did very well. You lifted the pedal there, which was great this week. Now you can broaden it a little bit because coming to the end of the piece, coming to the end of the piece. Okay. So yeah. yeah, we make it so pretty. We make yeah. it pretty. difference. It's now really getting to performance level. 